Lou Gerstner took over as chairman and chief executive of IBM in 1993, and he turned around the computer giant. Bloomberg contributor Judy Woodruff sat down with Lou Gerstner. She asked him about his views on the government's role in regulating executive compensation. I share the view of many in the government that there's been astoundingly uh, unnecessary excessive executive compensation in certain instances. I despair of a government solution. It, look, we've had governments attempt to control executive compensation for 40 or 50 years. I think the answer lies in the things that the SEC is already doing. Much more disclosure. Much more disclosure. Uh, much more um, oversight of what boards are doing because ultimately the boards need to make these decisions. I think we have to uh, see an elimination of pay for people who get fired and then wind up with these huge payments. Um, and so I think the system can fix itself without rigid rules uh, if, if we start doing, I think, a lot of the things that are underway. The only thing I would say that I know is controversial is that I would think about changing the tax laws. And this goes to your question about short term. I, I would think about if you buy something, a stock or a bond, in the morning and you sell it in the afternoon, the tax probably ought to be 80%. If you, if you hold it for six months, maybe it ought to be 60%. And if you hold it for five years, it ought to be zero. To try to get the incentives for investment to go back to being a true investor and not a trader. And so I think that there are ways through the tax code that we might create incentives for people to take a longer term view uh, and to uh, be paid in compensation that also takes a longer term view and you can't just cash it in at the end of the year like you can with a bonus. What do you think your friends on, uh, who work on Wall Street would say about that? They wouldn't like it at all. <laughs> they wouldn't like it at all. It's a transaction society. I mean, uh, Wall Street is a transaction. It's driven by transactions. It, 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 that's what they live by. They don't live by um, investment, long-term investment decisions. Current financial crisis, it, it, how much of it is it, is rooted in the, the culture? What some of the critics say is a short-term uh, myopia, greed that's just gone unchecked. I think a lot of it is, 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 is uh, comes out of a short-term, an excessive short-term focus uh, in our economy today. Uh, it's, 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 it, it is driven by quarterly earnings, it's driven by 24-hour business news, it's driven by the incentives that uh, investment advisors have to take huge profits on top of short-term results, annual results, quarterly results. So I think, I think we do have uh, a, a greed or a, a, um, an inefficiency that comes out of excessive focus on the short term. To see more with Lou Gerstner, you want to tune in this weekend for conversations with Judy Rudruff on Bloomberg Television Friday night at 6 p.m.